You will recall from chapter 3 that when we discussed the translation of the Hebrew perfect tense, we said that beginning students, out of convenience and out of the need to say something, will typically parse and then gloss a Hebrew perfect with a simple past tense. In fact, though, there are many other possible contextual values, contextual ways of translating a Hebrew perfect tense, some of which are not a simple English past tense. The same dynamic is true of the imperfect, but possibly with a lot more variables. The Hebrew imperfect is often translated by beginning students, particularly when they parse and gloss, with a simple future, something like, he will go. And that is okay as a parsing convenience, but when used in context, the Hebrew imperfect has a wide range of possible meanings. We will highlight three of those possible translational values here, but remember that there are more than simply these three when you actually get into reading texts in the Hebrew Bible. The three most common translational values for the imperfect, however, are first, a simple future tense, indicating an action in the future. For instance, in 1 Kings 20, we have Mahar eshlach et avadai elecha. Tomorrow I will send my servants to you. Eshlach is a cal imperfect first common singular of shalach, glossed as I will send. Or in Ruth 1.16, we have el asher teleki elek. When Ruth speaks this, she says to Naomi, where you will go, I will go. El Asher is what is being translated in English as where. Teleki is a cal imperfect second feminine singular from the verb halak, which we will discuss in a moment. Where you will go. And a lake is a cal imperfect first common singular of the verb Halak, which we will again discuss momentarily, glossed as I will go. Second, the imperfect can often have a translational value that is a modality. The modals are the verbal senses that are usually translated in English with helping verbs. Things like must, should, would, may, or might. The modals indicate a likelihood, a permission, an obligation, etc. For many examples, consider these. Exodus 8.23, Derek Shaloshet Yamim Nelek Bamidbar. We must go three days journey into the wilderness. Nelek is a cal imperfect first common plural of the verb halak. We, not we will go, because in the context of Exodus 8, they have been commanded by God, they must go. A different modality in Judges 1.1, the Israelites ask the Lord, Mi ya'ale lanu el hakuna'ani, who not will go up, but they are asking God who should go up against the Canaanites. Ya'ale is a cal imperfect third masculine singular of the verb Allah, and the gloss must be in context who should go up. Yet another modality, Genesis 42:36, Va'et binyamin tikahu. Tikahu is glossed as you would take, a cal imperfect second masculine plural of the verb lakach, which we will discuss again in a moment. It's not that they will take Benjamin, but it is the answer that they would take Benjamin. In Judges 16.15, we have a modality that we tend to translate with the English helping verb can. Ake tomar ahav tik. How can you say Tomar is a cal imperfect second masculine singular of Amar. 
And the modality here is one of almost disbelief, you would say. How can you say? Genesis 2.16 has a modality of permission. Mikol eats hagan akol tokel. Tokel is a cal imperfect second masculine singular of the Hebrew verb akal, glossed as not you will eat from any tree of the garden, but you may eat from any tree of the garden. And finally, in Joshua 22:24, Mahar Yomaru Benechem Levanenu. In the future, your children might say, Yomaru is a cal imperfect third masculine singular of the verb Amar. And the issue here is not that the children will say to the descendants in the future, but it might come true. That is, again, a different modality. Thirdly, the Hebrew imperfect is commonly used for what is called the iterative past, an indication of a regular or continuous action in the past time. For instance, Judges 5.8 Yivhar Elohim Hadashim. And it says he, meaning Israel, was choosing new gods. The issue in Judges is not that Israel one time in the past turned to other gods, but a repeated and regular continuous action. Yivhar is a cal imperfect third masculine singular from Bahar lost in the context as he was choosing new gods. Remember again that these three possible uses of the imperfect are only three of many others, and for the others consult a more advanced grammar.